Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. Here in Moto 15 version one, we can now preview your camera's depth of field effect directly in the advanced viewport. In order to set this up, I'm just gonna pop over to the perspective view and select my camera. Over here in item properties, you'll see a camera effects tab and let's enable depth of field by hitting that checkbox. And to set the focal distance, I like to press Y on the keyboard, activating the camera transform tool. And then I just drag this little blue dot to wherever I want the focal distance to be. In this case, we'll focus on the tip of our lion skull's nose and look back through the camera here. Now to turn on depth of field in the advanced viewport, I'm gonna press O to bring up my viewport options. Let's make sure we're on the advanced options tab here. And here underneath the anti-aliasing options, you'll see a progressive DOF for depth of field mode and that's set to off and I'm just gonna set that to on. And nothing happens right off the bat because you need a value greater than one in the progressive anti-aliasing uh, field here. This is a progressive effect. So you crank up that number to something like an eight and you can see that we now have depth of field in our advanced viewport. If I change the f-stop over here to something like two for a more uh, intense effect, you can see that there, and I can even back it off to like five or something for a more subtle effect. So now in Moto 15 V1, we can do this interactively and not only save some time, but if you like to render out preview renders in the advanced viewport, depth of field is a feature you can turn on now. Yum, yum.